that the quality of relationship in the workplace with will invariably impact on the desired productivity and outcome, especially for nation building. This was a submission of uh, uh, Ndineche Izurike, uh, the convener of the employee marketplace, buying and selling of Gen Z's, building trust and leadership support in modern workplace held in Lagos. Plus, if you can respond, love you, you do tell us more in this report. It is a fifth in a series of research and presentations focused on young professionals in the modern workplace. The searchlight here is on how to achieve cross-generational balance, productivity and innovation in the workplace. Undeneche Izurike is a convener. He believes organization must be intentional in terms of designing policies, programs that must ensure that this generation work together. He is also of the views that policies must be designed in such a way that recognizes a shift in technology and behaviors, but at the same time not destroying the values of the organization. Especially for nation building, if you don't get your workplace right, you cannot get the marketplace right. So all we have done is to be able to continuously engage Nigerians to understand that the workplace must be strong enough to accommodate several generations. In that way, the future of work will work for everybody. I say the values are changing, but the values are being watered down because now people are looking towards ten tending to survival as opposed to just living a nice, happy life, you know, with a nice economy and, uh, and a fantastic political environment and landscape. So because of how things have moved, they really don't have a choice than to shift towards survival. And then sometimes to survive, you need to let people know that they can get it. You know? Blending between generations no doubt can be much of an issue. Nevertheless, most participants hold strongly that there is a depth of wisdom, experience and collaboration that could be gained if both generations viewed things with a learning and growth perspective. They also posited that the quality of relationship in the workplace will invariably impact on the productivity and desired outcome. I always say that motive is the critical thing. If you can understand motives, you can relate with anybody. Once you're not biased about motives, and it makes it breach, it breaches that gap, the divide, and you'll be able to relate with anyone because you're able to understand why each person is doing what, what they want to do, what they want to achieve. In as much as disruption, as I know it, is a positive word. But disruption without a process, disruption without a goal, disruption without a structure cannot take place. All right. So you must be able to align whatever goals you have with a process. They believe in structure. This has been the way it is before. So it, it has to keep being the same thing. But it's not the same for we the Gen Z. So they need to calm down, learn to understand us, have a meeting point with us. You understand? Why we try to understand them, but I think they have the more responsibility to really come down from their high horses and, and understand us, understand the way we think and the way we do our things. Mr. Austin Osukbo is worried about how some of the Gen Z's express their energy. A positive things about Gen Z, there is so much huge energy in Gen Z, but how do they express that energy? What opportunity do they have to express that energy in our society today? You see people lock themselves inside the house, they don't go out. There are no sporting facilities. The stadiums are rotting away. And youths have energy, they must express that energy one way or the other. The beauty and the strength of every organization lies in the versatility the organization brings to form. And this lies on the fundamental strength you get from your diversity. The younger ones, the older ones, people with different views. It's only in the creative space that we play. These guys have got a lot of energies they bring in, but at the same time, teachability is non negotiable. That's where the confluence of energy and ideas come to form. So it is important. The balance, non negotiable. The consensus is that the younger ones need to learn how to manage reputation, just as the older ones must learn how to listen and be humble enough to apologize when wrong. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News.